Lumios, now arriving in Lumios. Welcome to Lumios, watch your sip. Hee hee. Oh, I like my god. The character we did for the tag team had like the big red rosy cheeks, but I like the more simple design. It's not really simple, just he's not as defined, I guess. Now, me, Josh, and Pete, we all play Animal Crossing very differently. When me and Pete started out this game like years ago, Pete would memorize the uh, money code. That would, he would just keep putting the code in over and over again and basically get unlimited bells. Then we would time travel all around the game and just buy furniture. We would buy like the Christmas furniture, all that stuff like that. So that's how we used to play it. But we didn't really care about like, the weeds, like how the town looked or anything like that. We're not really going to be doing that that much with the tag team stuff. So we're going to keep everything in one time period, no skipping. Pete may do the money code. I don't know if he's going to do that or not, but I guess you guys will see on his uh, video. So now, me, Josh, and Pete, uh, we were trying to decide who should go first in terms of these videos. Uh, Josh won our little rock, paper, scissors battle, and I am first to pick my house. So... I'm always a fan of the green colored house, so I'll pick this one right down here. Why green? It's just, it's my favorite color. What can I say? Do, do, do. These houses are always so disgusting. Like, how am I really supposed to like live here? Like, yes, this is my house. And like, you have like, you have one window on the side here that's coming in like, oh, wait, where's light coming from? That makes no sense. Unless, it, is there a lamp outside? No, there's no lamp outside. Where is that light coming from? Anyway, I'll take the greenhouse. And now you guys all know the deal with this point. Tom Nook's gonna make me pay for the house. Basically, he's gonna make me work for the entirety of the tutorial or to pay off a portion of the house. I mean, like, I know, like, it's good for new players joining the game that there is a tutorial like this, but I feel like people who've been playing Animal Crossing for a while know the general idea of what you're supposed to do. So I feel like there always should be an option you can just skip ahead of the whole Tom Nook teaching you how to, the town runs thing. Like yeah, it's all helpful information, but like I've played all iterations of Animal Crossing, so there's really no point at this uh, section of the game. I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can because I know this is a very long and tedious part. That does not make uh, good Let's Play commentary for. Oh, Tom Nook. He has a big nose. Like, he doesn't speak ever. just his nose goes up, up and down. I always wonder why the character had horns. Like, I'm pretty sure this is, like, I, I think it's part of the hat, but, like, why would a Japanese culture pick, like, the horns, like a Viking, for the hat? This doesn't make sense to me. Okay, now here he is. So nearly 20,000 bells for the house, and our character is equipped with only 1,000. Oh, Tom Nook. I would do a voice for Tom Nook, but I'm right now just trying to get through his dialogue. I'll do voices for him later right now. He's just going to speak for hours upon hours upon hours. Okay, and again, he's going off in the wrong direction. Let's go to his shop. I like this town's layout. Like, this layout is actually very similar to my first ever Animal Crossing. So this is, pretty, this is gonna be a pretty even... Not, no, not pretty even. What am I saying? It's gonna be a pretty easy way for me to figure out where everything is in the town, because it's quite similar to the old layout. I did like how it's always randomly generated, though, because every game is like a different game. But you would, you would, ever, you would get uh, some areas every now and then where, like, the town would be completely, like, not inaccessible, but the fact that it was, like, the bridge would be all the way at the very bottom. So in order to get from one half of the map to the other, you would need to go all the way across. Like, it just it was never convenient. And I remember there was a part in each game where Tordimer would ask you, do you want to put a bridge down over here? And you could do that, and it would fix that problem. But that didn't happen until way late in the game when like okay I've been messing around all this time now it's just what's the point 
I like the fact this game, like, this entire game, game's about growing and learning. Like, Tom Nook's building gets bigger and bigger as you go along. Um, you can make your house bigger and bigger. You can build relationships with all the people in the village. Like, the entire game, it, like, I don't want to call it a life simulator, but it's very good at the entire idea of growing, becoming stronger. Something that most games, like, there is no leveling up in this game. There is no high score to go for. It's really just doing what you want, which, it's... It's different. Like it's not like it's not like an every kind of average game. It's just something relaxing. More than it's a relaxing game. I remember playing the DS version of this for just hours upon hours on end, just making my town the way I want it to be. And this is the predecessor to everything. Animal Crossing really is like the beginning, and it has absolutely some of the best music ever too. Like, just listen to that. Even, like, the talking music, each character has their own, like, sound bites and, like, little, like, they make a character sound either happy or angry, depending on what he's doing. It's perfect. One thing I never got used to, though, is I played the GameCube version. I love the GameCube version. But then I would get to the DS version, and I have the ability to walk around my house and walk around and actually keep playing the game, which was awesome. But then when the Wii version came out, I was forced to sit in front of the TV again and that really didn't help at all. Like, I, I have no problem with sitting in front of the TV doing this now but like when, it's it's the convenience factor. It's nice to walk around and actually play the game. That's why with New Leaf I'll probably be playing Animal Crossing non-stop just because the fact it's going to be portable again which I've been waiting for. What do you guys think of New Leaf? Do you think it's going to be good? Are you excited for it? It comes out in less than two weeks. Um, I, I'm extremely excited for it. I think it's going to be a nice change up to the game. Um. Oh, Toward Mario, as your voice. Listen to me, Sprout. What's your name? Ken, eh? I see. Human, aren't ya? My name's Tortimer, and I'm the mayor here in Illumios. Yep, a pretty important job. You seem like a good kid. Listen, whenever there's a holiday or some kind of event, come talk to me. Hehehehe. <laughs> I'm sure it'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yep, I surely will. <laughs> Orf. Creepy turtle. I like Tortimer, though, just because of the fact that every holiday you can get items from him. A lot of time it would be like a town hall model or something like that. And I'd put all the town hall pieces in my basement and make a miniature version of my town. Evening. And might I add, how do you do, Winger? I'm Pierce. What's your name? Shh! Lower your voice. It's the middle of the night, you know, Ken. What? Hey, I'm not the one doing all the shouting. Oh wait, I am? <clears throat> it's not my fault. I have a lot of energy at night, Winger. I never understood the little catchphrases you give to the villagers. Like, uh, he would call me Hawkeye in one game, Winger in another. Like, I know they're, they're just like little nickname ticks. I never understood why, though. Oh. You wanna talk? It's the middle of the night! I'm tired, can't you see, cheapers? I don't even know your name, and you waltz up thinking you can just start talking to me? <laughs> Normally, when you're talking to a stranger for the first time, you want to be a little more cautious. I'm Twiggy. I'm not really mad at you. I just want you to be more careful, cheapers. Okay. G good evening. Walking around late at night makes me a little nervous. What about you? Aren't you scared, Bow Wow? Really? He doesn't bother you? I wish I, I could be like that. My name's Daisy. Sorry if I seem a little jumpy, but let's be friends, okay? Aw, poor Daisy. A little scaredy cat. Oh, I talked to Pierce. Who else might be missing? Oh, look at this guy, another bird. Yawn. I'm so sleepy. Hey, have I ever met you before? I don't want to sound rude since we've only just met, but you shouldn't uh, wander around alone at night. Still, I've got no right to lecture you because here I am doing exactly the same thing. Alright, he's a little bit laid back. I think there's only two more people. Oh, here's Allie the alligator. Hi, what are you running around in the middle of the night? Scaring people? It's a little suspicious. Oh, you want to be friends? Well, what would you do if I said no? 
No, no, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to give you a hard time for scaring me like that. I'm Allie. It's nice to meet you. My village is very interesting. Hmm. I think there's one more person all the way up here. No. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, the, I know I can get up there, but like, I used to have an area down here where like, there'd be a path right here I could go up. But now it's probably all the way on the side here. All the way. Yep, here we are. It's not too bad. Oh, back in my little village. Where is... Oh, there he is. Hey, don't worry, you don't have to be scared of me. I'm Rolf, and I guard this village, making sure nobody evil is sneaking around late at night. Is, is Rolf a... Is Rolf a demon hunter? Don't tell anyone about that, though. Nobody knows I'm doing it, Grolf. But you know, you look okay, so I won't report you. So, you're Ken. Yeah, you look nice enough. But you shouldn't be creeping around in the middle of the night, you know. Grolf. Grolf's totally a demon hunter. Huh. Look at that. I bet he has, like, let's see what inside of his house looks like. It's probably all, like, witchcraft and wizardry and... Jesus. This looks straight out of Psycho. Okay. Ralph's, uh... Ralph's kind of interesting. Uh, run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> Let's get back to Tom Nook. I think that's everyone. Again, I'll give Tom Nook a voice later right now. I'm just trying to get through all his uh, exposition and dialogue. Oh! Oh no! We have to go back to Rolf! I don't want to die! Seriously, why does Rolf need a new rug? He's covering up the bloodstains in his house. He's gonna kill me! <laughs> uh, hey Rolf! Yeah, so what do you want, Rolf? Delivery! Hold it right there. What do you think you're doing with my furniture, Ken? Huh? Speaking to my good ear. Working? Give me a break. What kind of a... Oh, a mortgage? I understand. Let me tell you something. It's certainly a good idea to have money before you buy something. That's the way the world works, you know. Wow, Ralph, thank you for that. But there's no shame in paying off your debts. That's honest. Growth. I've got to respect that. So I guess you haven't had a chance to get any of your basic house essentials. Have you, Groth? So ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Well, do you, Groth? You should. You get this kitschy, kitschy clock. No, no, take it. You need it more than me, Ken. Besides, we're going to be living in the same town. So I figure it'd be best if we start off on the right foot, Groth. Not about that. Now, you have your own place. You better get busy decorating, do you think? You know you can put that furniture in your room and move it around, right? It's not rocket science. <laughs> Just go in the front of something, hold the A button, and start pushing and pulling, blah, blah, blah. Again, Ralph's just giving us a tutorial now how to move items in the house. But I have played Animal Crossing before, so I already know this. But still, he says, I hope we get off on the right foot. I'm already convinced he's a serial killer slash ghost hunter. Or demon hunter or something. So I'm not going to take too kindly to him. Anyway, let's see what he just gave us, though. Oh, too close to the wall. Oh, that's pretty cool. Better than the one Tag got. Our default character got, like, a green barrel. This is much nicer. Woo! And I... Oh, yeah, I love that. Little feature, the clock is accurate to the game. Love that little feature. So cool. Alright, back to Tom Nook. Again, this is a very long opening. I'm sorry for this. But me, Pete, and Josh will be having 
several videos, each of us uh, moving around the town. So you're going to see quite some different perspectives for characters, I think. <laughs> 